Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman, and I'm an attorney, Goldman and Associates, and I'd like to expound upon how discovery works in a divorce. You know, in a general civil case, there's always a discovery phase based on the Michigan court rules, which basically allow the parties an opportunity to learn what the other side's case is about, or what their defense is about. Um, you can learn all sorts of things about the claim, about the defense to the claim, and a divorce is no exception. In a divorce case, the discovery or the investigative period is, is usually targeted toward assets or toward uh, custody issues that will become relevant uh, during the divorce. Attorneys have a full panoply of tools that they can use in order to discover things about the other cases, the strengths and weaknesses of the other case. And sometimes by using those tools, learning the strength and weakness of your own case equally as important. Uh, these tools include uh, taking depositions, interrogatories, requests to produce, requests to admit, um, the subpoena power that the attorneys uh, have uh, to send uh, requests and demand for documents from banking institutions, brokerage houses, all these kinds of things so you can figure out the value of stock, the value of assets, etc. If you're going through a divorce, therefore, and particularly if you're not certain what the marital assets are or whether your ex is appropriately disclosing all those assets, reach out to us and of course we'll be glad to help you out. If you have uh, found this uh, otherwise helpful, please like, comment, and share.